What's up, YouTube? Sal OG here. Welcome back to another Katie Lang reaction video. This one is from Will over on Patreon, a VIP member. Thank you so much, Will, for all of the continued support to this channel. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you for suggesting the song. So now, let's see. Hallelujah. So I did have to search just for a second here, but I found it. This song has been covered by a lot of people. Written by Canadian singer L Leonard Cohen, originally released on his album Various Positions 1984. Achieving little initial success, the song found greater popular acclaim through a new version recorded by John Cale in 1991. Cal's version inspired a 1994 recording by Jeff Buckley that in 2004 was ranked number 259 on the Rolling Stones 500 greatest songs of all time. So that Jeff Buckley version, that's got to be a banger right there. Maybe we'll have to check that out, check that out as well. Ah, the song achieved widespread popularity after Cal's version of it was featured in the 2001 film Shrek. I love Shrek. Anyway, look at how many times this has been covered. Just a bunch. It's in media, multiple different artists. Here's Katie Lang's version right here. Where it says right here, she performed this at the Canadian Juno Awards in 2005, where it brought the audience to its feet for two minutes. Wow. Alexandra Burke, Pentatonix, and here are all the other versions. So you get the idea. Lincoln Park. Okay. I think it's time. Let me unmute this and let's check it out for ourselves. Here we go. It's 2000. 2005, okay. I heard there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this The fourth, the fifth
forgot about it All I've ever learned from love is How to shoot somebody who outdrew ya It's not a cry that you hear at night It's not someone who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah 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 Damn. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. So as I'm watching, and kind of by the end, I pretty much held the same same belief that uh, I feel like she paced the song. I felt like the song was, um, I guess I should say she was in control of it, I feel like. It was her rendition, and I feel like the pacing and the delivery of it was how she wanted to do it. You know, like, I feel like she might have even made the song better based off of how she wanted to do it. Because it did feel like it was a tiny bit slower. Like, maybe I'm off about that. I just have a feeling that um, that might be one of, if not the best, version definitely one of the best for sure and the uh, standing ovation is of course absolutely warranted it's quite amazing hey d lang never disappoints so far at least i mean very powerful voice with just extraordinary extraordinary just a special voice i'll leave it at that thanks for watching guys catch you the next one